Good morning, everyone. It is 7.30 in the morning. I've been up since 6. Uh, I'm actually here at Stewart's house to watch a uh, Formula One race. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. So I came all this way to watch the Formula One race on, uh, at Monaco on the Indy 500. Uh, unfortunately, Stewart is still asleep. I'm trying to get him to wake up so he can open the door. Let's, let's go inside. It's, the mosquitoes are... <laughs> Are they really bad? Huh? Are they really bad? No, they're, they're freaking everywhere. Look, there's plants. Next plants. Be here at 7 in the morning, he said. The, ra the race starts early, he said. The race starts at 9. That's why I said that in breakfast. The, broad, uh, the broadcast starts at 9, actually. Really? Yeah. Huh. Uh, cause, um, all the practice and qualifying has been starting at 9. Oh, okay. Cause, Wow, you're it. Oh. Alrighty then. Today's not your day. Look at this thing. What are you doing? He's being sneaky. It's okay. So Stuart, what are we what are we waiting on now? The race starts in a few minutes. Yeah. I think in like half an hour. We're already gabbing everybody's ear off. Yeah, right. Yeah, they're, they're just talking away. Like, what is this, Dragon Ball Z? Look at this thing. Oh, well, he had a nice house. I mean, look at this. He's got a bar. You know, there's a living room. He's got a bar here. It's cool. Love all the memorabilia. He's got, like, Porsches. he got the Pink Pig. Look at this shit. Oh, so I think those are C7Rs. Lego C7Rs. That's pretty cool. Uh, this guy's just dedicated to cars, man. Look at this shit. Uh, Kimi's on one of those yachts. He's probably having soda and ice cream. Which yacht is he going to go back got the, to? Got the biscuits going. Yes. And uh, here's the sausage gravy. You know, I've never, I've never actually made chick, um, chicken. Why am, I, why am I saying chicken? Sausage and biscuits. Because we eat a lot of shake and bake. That's why you said chicken. Yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> Way too much shake and bake. Oh, it's good though. It tastes, it's tasty. It's, it's good. Yeah, it's like, straight off the. Every time, every time I ask this man, what do you, what did you eat for dinner? Shake and bake. Do you put it on a potato bun with some barbecue sauce on it? Yeah. And just, uh, it's actually pretty. Oh, that's pretty that's exactly what I did. All right, so they, they got the. This is the formation wrap, right? Yes. Yeah. Ninety percent chance of rain. Damn, oh, wow. It's going to rain. We were right there. It's, right wait a second. Uh, risk of rain is 90 Oh, the, the message is gone. But risk of rain is 90%, so that's going to be fun. Ooh, they're off. Hey, hey Stuart. Mm, butt ass. About <laughs> steady butt ass. Butt ass. All right, biscuits. And gravy. It's biscuits and gravy. Oh, yeah. There we go. What? Oh, what a, oh geez. No, there's, a there's a three car pile up. Which Ferrari is <laughs> Alright, what, what happened this time? Oh, geez. Oh. Oh, that could have been. That could have been pretty bad. <laughs> oh, what was it, Stuart? He <laughs> said. He just, again, he just fucking drives into me. <laughs> Alright, Stuart. How'd you like that Formula One race? Could have been better. It could have ended with Lewis Hamilton sliding into a wall with Max Verstappen in tow and Sebastian Vettel winning the race or Sebastian Vettel crashing into both of them, taking Botas out with them and Gasly winning the race with Carlos Sainz taking second and then I would have gone and bought a lottery ticket. I just want to see McLaren number one, first place. Uh, Make Bruce proud. I hope you're not a gambler, man. Don't gamble on it. I, I, I don't. I don't gamble much. So uh, what are we doing now? Indy 500? Indy 500. That's a good idea. Chocolate milk? Indy 500, chocolate milk. Well, Hell yeah. Do they have chocolate cows in Indiana? Chocolate milk comes from brown cows, man. Come on. 
Yeah, chocolate did cows. Know, did you know that like 41% of Americans actually believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows? Uh, I didn't read That's that. That's a real thing. Yeah. I didn't know that. It's cool. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it comes from chocolate cows. Uh, no, no, seriously. It's a serious study that said chocolate milk comes from brown cows and like 41% of Americans believe this. Who are you? Well, yeah. It's, who? They come from chocolate cows. Chocolate cows are brown. It's like, no, but in all seriousness, who? This is, this is why, this is why we are literally last in the world for education and we're a first world country. Well, yeah. Well, Stuart, what? chocolate cows are brown. Chocolate is brown. It makes sense, right? Hey, Stuart. What do you got going on here? I'm going to cook some bacon up for the baked beans, and then I'm going to sweat some onions real quick. You're going to sweat some onions? Like what, on the treadmill? Yeah. Just getting the grill ready for... Ooh. What do we have here? Uh, a couple racks of ribs. All right. Coated with some Bradley's Country Store original pork rub. This is in Tallahassee, and the store's been here since like the early 1900s. Oh wow! It's been the same spot. Is on... it like one of the like big general stores where they have like a cash register and they push it in and it goes dink dink? Well, they used to. I mean, not anymore. But it's yeah, been in the same. It's been in the same spot. Uh, actually, Centerville Road in Tallahassee was paved around the general store. Really? Because it's so old. There was uh, originally... It's a historical landmark. Well, originally there, it was all Indian trails. Really quick. There's some knives here. Some fancy chef's knife. Huh. It's a little, a little hard to twirl. Yeah, because it's weighted. My, my life is weighted. Not weighted like that. And, you know what? I think it's because the handle is a bit thicker. That's the knife. That's the knife that you want. Oh, the Santoku knife? Uh, it's a blunt nose Santoku, so I believe that's called a, um, an Iaitoku, I think it's called. Yeah. There you go. Jeez, look at that. Look at the dis displacement of the water. Oh, it's not that bad once you're in, you know? Oh, I, I bet. Oh, I missed your head. Yeah, the water's a bit cold. Yeah, but once you're in, it's... Are you gonna pass on that? I think I'm gonna pass on the water. Stuart, what's uh, what's up with your unicorn? Unicorn. So you got, you got a unicorn there. Let's watch this with the fuel. There's this guy over here. Can't get fuel plugged in. Look at this. What are you doing? What's going on? Oh, just push, plug it in. What are you doing? Stuart. Pull it out, put it back in. Exactly. <laughs> turn it off and turn it back on again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reboot. Oh, Ross is getting pissed too. Look at that. This is a cool guy. Very understudy. He's like, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. He's getting pissed. Like he's Stuart, Windex is for Windows. We like that. Hey, hey, hey. So I've got a choice between a square napkin or, or uh, a rectangle. Uh, I don't know. You know, I, I'm gonna go with a square napkin. I think it might have more usable surface area. Oh man, we got. Yes, we're all out, man. We got we got beans, we got blocks, we got chips, we got coleslaw, ribs, hot dogs. Thank you, Stuart. What do we got? 19 laps left to go. Wait. I thought Rossi was out. No. They fixed his. They were leading the race. They fixed his car. I thought he crashed. Four days crash. Oh. All right, we got some racing going. Sato up to fourth. Up to fourth. Good, 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 good. He's just got to get around New Garden and then Rossi and then Pagano. And then we can have Takuma Sato win the 500 today. 
That'd be kind of cool. Just some tight racing, boy. Look at this. 13 laps, and they all had to come in on the safety car. Oh, Pag's back in. Oh, there we go. They're just exchanging. Uh, Stewart, two laps to go. It's going to be close. Yep, hopefully. Oh, oh my god, oh, 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 oh. it's around the outside. Cuts him off. Look at that. He ain't gonna get him. No, sir. Too much time, yes. Not happening. Too much of a gap now. I think Pag has it. Oh, this, this is. Oh, there you go. Trigger flag. There you go, man. Got it. Takuma Sato finishing third. Not bad, not bad. He could have had that if he had a little bit of a faster car under him. Yeah. That's, that's a close race, man. And for all the viewers, how many Indy 500s has Roger Penske won, either as a driver or a team owner? I don't know. I put it down in the comments. Ten. I believe, you know what? Take a guess. 17. Yep. Wait, for real? Yes. 17. He has won 17 times. So the number I just threw out is, is the correct number? Yes. Oh, well, shit. Roger Penske has won the Indy 500 17 times. This is 18. Not bad. So, Stuart, how'd you like that, uh, that Indy 500 race? Indy 500 was pretty good this year. What about, um, what about the F1 race? Monaco, it's boring, but it's Monaco. It's, you know, it's the Lewis Hamilton show. The Indy 500 was good because the Indy 500 recently has always been, you don't really know who's going to win until about, you know, 30 laps to go. Um, Simon Pagano pulling it out this year, who, Simon Pagano, funny enough, he was the pole sitter and he led 122 laps this year, so, uh... You know, it was kind of to be expected, but there was a couple runs there where we thought Rossi would win it, or Takuma Sato would win it, or Joseph Newgarden was going to win it. And for a while, it looked like James Hinchcliffe was going to be in the running. But, uh, alas, no. What's with the, uh, the empty bottle of Grey Goose? I drank it all. You drank, you drank the whole bottle of Grey Goose? Sure did. Get to the chopper! There it's my trapezoids. This is why aliens don't visit us. Yeah. David. David. <laughs> All right. Garage door. My hair's a mess. Let me zoom out because I'm like all over my face. There we go. Hey! Alright, guys. So, that's that for today. Uh, I guess I'm going to hop back in the Miata and head home. So, Stuart, thanks for inviting me over to your house. You got some great food. Good to uh, check out some good races. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'll see you in a few weeks. We're going to come back here for Le Mans. And yeah. uh, we're going to have wings and beer, and it's going to be 24 hours. We're going to camp out in the backyard. Uh, Stuart's dad just kind of hosed down our entire camping area to make sure we get the full experience. See you guys.